Well, hello, everybody. It's wonderful to have you with us. I pray wherever you are that you know that God is with you exactly in the place where you are. Well, I'm right here in Dallas, in Texas, in the United States. And I am here because I sense, I feel, I I, I believe, I'm convicted that God wants me to reach more people. That is, reach people who are committed in their faith and help them grow and also to reach people who maybe are disconnected from God, disconnected from church, and to help them connect with God and then to grow in their relationship with God. I sense that's what God is asking me. Our team sense that's what God is asking us. And many of you have said to us, that's what you sense that God, we should be doing and God wants to lead us in. Before I keep going, I just want to say thank you to my team. Whenever I travel, whenever we travel, uh, it puts a lot more work upon them to be able to get the daily devotionals out than when we're back in our ministry uh, facility and we're able to record and we're all set up to record there. To all of them, I just want to say thank you. There are many people in their everyday lives who also are being led by God or feel led by God, but many people aren't so sure about that language or whether that's true. There are many people who stop and say, well, uh, you know, uh, uh, maybe that's what happened to people in the past. You know, maybe back in the apostles era, that's what the way people were meant to live. And maybe that will happen again in the future in some time. But the everyday ordinary person doesn't experience that, doesn't experience the prompting, the guiding, the leading of God in their everyday life. And and, and, and the truth is, is that God does seek to be in our life. God does seek to guide, to lead, to provide. And there are many scriptures to this effect. But all of our lives are different, aren't they? We're doing different things. Recently, I heard uh, Ed Sheeran, the, the singer, who is a very famous singer, and many people know him, Uh, prior to him becoming famous, he used to just play all by himself to very little crowds or just a few handful of people. Well, today his career's taken off to the degree he no longer plays auditoriums, but now plays stadiums with 50, 60, 70,000, and he sells them out everywhere he goes around the world. Uh, And he said this, he said, people do not understand my life now because people wouldn't know what that experience is like. And, and I must admit, I think that's true. I, I can't relate quite to what he's experiencing. In the same way, no one experiences our life. Our life is our life. All of us are met with challenges. All of us are met with joys and wonderful things as part of our everyday life. And being led by God and guided by God in the midst of our unique circumstance that no one else has is the way that God desires for us to work. Now, maybe we're, 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 we're some of those people who think, well, God doesn't really guide and provide. He, you know, that's what he did years ago, back when the apostles were around and maybe in a future era. But now the majority of us are meant to think things out the best. We're meant to plan the best. We're meant to uh, be informed the best and then make decisions based on that. But as for God being part of our lives, guiding and providing, that's probably not really what happens. So, some people say, well, that's only for the fanatics, for the, for the super committed that, that, that they talk like that. But the truth is God doesn't work. Well, let's go to the scriptures and see if God actually does work in our lives like that. Let's go to Matthew's Gospel, chapter 7. And it says this, Ask and it will be given you. Search and you'll find, knock and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks receives, and everyone who searches finds, and for everyone who knocks the door will be opened. Is there anyone among you who if your child asks for bread will give a stone, or if the child asks for fish will give a snake? If you then who are evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? In Luke's gospel, there's the similar story, but it finishes this way. If you then who are evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the heavenly father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? And what's the function of the Holy Spirit? The function of the Holy Spirit comes to us to guide and lead. The truth is being led by God in our life is the way that we're meant to live our everyday life. 
We're meant to live with the prompting, the urging, the convicting voice of God in our life. We're meant to be led by God in our everyday life. It's a little bit like tuning in to be able to hear. It's learning to understand the unique way that God communicates his direction in our life. And in this series, that's what we're going to do. And, and, and it's so important for our daily prayer life that we're being led by God in our life over and over and over again. We read this in the lives of the saints. We see it in their, in their lives, being led by, the God, by God, prompted by God in their life. It is not something for a bygone era. It is not something that might happen in the future. It's not something that just happens for the fanatic that we might say. Being led by the Spirit, being led by God is meant to be a normal part of our life that when we ask God for His provision, ask God for His guidance, ask God for His in intervention, ask God for His knowledge, that God seeks to provide it for us. It's meant to be normal. And we, and we read in the scriptures the fruits of living by being led by the Spirit and the fruits of the Spirit in our life, which leads us in His way. Well, so I spoke to someone just uh, only in the last few days when I was telling them that I'm traveling and what we do as a ministry. And, and, and they said, I just can't even conceive of what you are trying to do in reaching people. And the scale of which you're trying to do it by reaching many people in many places. I can't comprehend it. It's the same in our lives, the way you raise your family, the circumstances of your family, your career, your emotional, your physical, your, your stamina, your ability to dream, to dr dream the dreams to, to do, your level of capacity makes you unique. And it isn't a question of what someone thinks you can do or imagines what you can do. It's what God is wanting you to do in living, in living your everyday life. And how do you do that in the place where you are now? Because where you were in the past was the past. Where you'll be in the future is the future. But how does God seek to be in our life and provide for us and walk in our life and guide us right now? That's what this series, Being Led by God, is all about. Being led by the Spirit. I pray that as we, live in the, uh, as we live in the Spirit, as we live being led by God, that we will encounter Him very deeply. Can I ask you to pray for me in these days? Uh, there are so many more people that need to hear the message of Christ. I'm trying and our team are trying very hard to figure out how to do that. There are challenges everywhere and uh, it is not easy to do. And it may look easy just sitting here or standing in front of our cameras and doing it, but there's so much that happens behind the scenes. I want to thank all of you who helped me. I want to thank you for your prayers, but I'd ask you for your continued prayers at this time. If you want to write to me about any of that, you can do so at this address. Just write directly to me. If you want to help me or you have some thoughts or you want to pray, l let me know. Loving God, I just thank you today that you're with us. Lord, in this series that will be so connected to our prayer, Allow us to hear you and to learn to walk more deeply with you. I pray that I would learn to walk more deeply with you. I pray that I would learn to, to, to surrender more deeply to your voice. I pray we all do. Father, come to us in the name of Jesus. And Father, we make this prayer in Jesus' name through the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Hey, God bless you all, everybody. Uh, look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And don't forget wherever you are, God's never ever far from you.